Hey traders, in this video I'm going to teach you how to read the psychology of a particular bar or a particular, yeah, but particular bar that you're looking on the chart there. So let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, traders, so we're gonna look at the psychology of a particular bar now, or, or of, the, of a bar that may be forming in the markets. Now, let's have a look at this here. If we pick a bar here, if the market, if we get type of, if we get a bar that opens high and comes down and closes low and the, and the bar is very, very thick like you see here, that's a very bearish sign, very bearish sign. If the market opens and runs back up and comes straight back down, that's another bearish, very bearish sign. Make sense? But if the market opens like it does here, comes down, rallies up, and then suddenly closes a bit higher, well now we can start to see a different change in the overall markets. Now, what I'm what I'm saying here is that bar analysis is very important to manage your positions if you're in a if you're in a position. So, for example, let's go back over here. So, for example, guys, we can see that we had this big down bar, it looks bearish, big down bar looks bearish. The market opens lower than this bar, runs up and closes higher. Now that to me is obviously it's a, it's a bullish engulfing and for you guys who know candlesticks, but it shows that there's, there's no, this. if you were short through here, this is definitely the time to exit because it's showing the, 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 bullish, the bearishness is running out of steam and the bulls are coming in. And so as you can see what happened, the market ran up, up, and up, and up. Now, if we have a look, say, at a particular bar where the market comes down, and this is what we call the psychology of reading, reading what the market is telling you. Look at this particular bar here. So the market opened up here, and if you're watching this during the day, you would have seen this big red candle, or this big down bar through here, all right? Because it was down here at one time. And then during the day, the market ran down, came back up, and it, not only did it come back up, but it ran all the way back up here and closed up here. So if you think about that, the sellers actually had had the sellers actually had the strength first first thing out of the gates of this particular bar. Makes sense. So the sellers actually had the strength coming out of that particular bar. But if you think about the buyers, the buyers actually had to bring it from down here to all the way up to here to close high. Now, that to me is very, very strength. There's, there's so much strength in that when it comes to looking at that particular bar. Okay, so much strength in the bulls. Because the sellers actually had here, not only did the buyers actually had to stop the sellers, but the buyers took to the high side and closed up from the high side. So this here is a, is a typical, what we call a reversal bar, and it's showing there's a lot more strength. You can see what happened next day, right? Not only did the sellers lose control and come back up and the buyers took control, but look at this big bar the next day, then we started the runs back up to the high side. Make sense? So whenever you're reading the bar, read it for what it really is telling you. And especially when you're seeing, guys, especially when you're seeing these types of bars where the market might come down, and we've got one on the NASDAQ right now as I'm doing this recording. You can see what's happening on the NASDAQ, right? We've had this big run down, 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 down. And you can see this type of bar here, right? That the market was here. It did spend a lot of time to the downside. And I was actually trading the markets. And it was actually in the last hour, it ran up. Oh, actually it opened there, ran down, then ran back up and then closed there. So that's what, uh, that's what happened. So you can see, right? That the sellers actually had control the whole day. And then the buyers brought it back up and then closed there. Open there, closes there. That's actually, it's actually showing strength that the buyers are holding strength. Because look at this here. This was a down day here, down day here. You can see actually this, this big gap down, came back up and closed there. That's, that was showing strength in the buyers. But look what happened the next day. It came back down. 
this one here didn't actually have the strength here now you know and then something the, then something this next day you can say okay look the mar the mar mar market's actually stalling here then we had another down day then we have another down day another down day now we're getting reversal bar here again as well so whenever we especially as if we get an extended run down like we get here and we get this type of bar especially like you can see here right we had a down bar down bar down bar sideways down market opened came down came all the way back up and closed there you can see that was actually a strength and you can see it actually reversed the market for at least a couple of days in the market now it doesn't happen all the time but you're reading the psychology of what the bar is telling you